Clean fight, get on a pelea limpia, okay? Touch gloves now, good luck. Toca los guantes y buena suerte. Neither fighter fights good going backwards. Navarrete says he's going to toe the line and back Dog Bay up. Dog Bay says he's going to toe the line. Excuses that Dog Bay put forth. Talked about his conditioning, gaining nearly 30 pounds between fights. Said traveling a lot, a lot of injuries. Father wasn't with him the entire time. Didn't get high quality sparring. Was sparring relatives and bigger guys that weren't necessarily as skilled. Is there Exerting a lot of energy. Good work with the jab and then the right hand to the body from the champ. And now Dogbe able to get to the inside. And that's exactly what Dogbe needs to do. He needs to choose his spots wisely, move his head, take a round or two off if my right hand gets hurt. So we will monitor that right hand, and that is a slip. So that's a report from Bernardo. The right thumb of Emmanuel Navarrete. Working for him right now. The physicality of this fight right now is working for him. He's getting inside and choosing spots and digging down to Navarrete's body with the left hook. That's what he's looking for. He's trying to hurt him to the body. This yeah. isn't anything new for him. He knows how to punch right where he is, just like he did right there. The key is for him to not raise up in the punches, yes. and he has to show that he has the fitness and conditioning to keep that pace up. And well, also step some back. success there, guys. Driving down with a combination here as we come to the end of round number one of our WBO Junior Featherweight World Title ah! Rematch. Newly minted champion Emmanuel Navarrete enjoyed an 18 to 12 connect advantage in round number one. He has won 21 fights. That was a nice sequence right there from Dog Bay. That's Dog Bay at his best where he stays low yeah. and he punches right where he is. He doesn't raise up to get the shot. One of the things I want to see from Dog Bay, you know. Please. Thanks, Joe. This isn't just a test of Isaac Dog Bay. It's a test of his father, Paul Dog Bay, also. Isaac born in Ghana, moved to London as a child. Father Paul's a former soldier in the British Army. He's trying to slow him down. And eventually, I believe he's going to catch him with something over the top. Maybe an overhand right. Oh, he sends him off balance that time with a right hand. Then tries to come with an uppercut as Dogbe now wraps up with that left hand. Isaac Dogbe cannot get out of the way of that punch right now. He's not made the adjustment thus far. The reason for that, Dre, is, is he lean. There it oh, is. Oh, there it is again. Big left uppercut from Navarrete. He's hurt. Very hurt. Significant shot that time. Tries to come in with the left hook. Just a glancing blow. Navarrete needs to go right back to that uppercut. Comes raining in with headshots. Dog when he's fresh, he certainly can't get out of the way of it when he's hurt. And you can see redness around that right eye of Isaac Dogbe. What a round! I think does a great job in that sequence right there. Landed 18 power punches in that second round in Navarrete. And now Dogbe comes charging out and tries to go to that belt line, landing a right hand to the body of Navarrete. Gotta continue to duck Tim. I know you said you don't like that, but the way you can avoid getting hit with that uppercut on the way in is to come behind a single and double jab. There's a misnomer that the shorter fighter can't use the jab, but he certainly can. He can use the jab. He's using the well in the first round. He's a driving right hand. There's the left uppercut again. And again as Dogby tries to fight back. Combination included a right hand at the end of an uppercut there. And now Navarrete's on the attack as he places a left hand to the liver. He's got to continue to duck, Tim. And I know you said you don't like that. But the way he can avoid getting hit with that uppercut on the way in is to come behind a single and double jab. There's a misnomer that the shorter fighter can't use the jab, but he certainly can. He can use the jab. He was using the well in the first round. He's a driving right hand. There's the left uppercut again. And again as Dogby tries to fight back. Combination included a right hand at the end of an uppercut there. And now Navarrete's on the attack as he places a left hand to the liver. 
Another left uppercut as the former champ from Ghana is absorbing punishment and trying to give. Missing wildly with the right hand. Dog Bay doesn't make him pay the price, and then he's sent off back. Can't make the adjustment. I don't care if you're a power puncher, hit right here from Dog Bay. You've got to work the skill and learn how to make adjustments so you don't get hit with the same shot over and over again like Dog Bay is. Another big shot from Navarrete after Dog Bay landed his best punch, and now he is hurt. He is at wobbly legs here in round three. Can he hold up? Backed up into the ropes. Here comes the champ on the attack. Looking to finish things here in Tucson. Dog Bay turns the tables for a moment, but he is clearly affected. That right eye does not look good, and he is not. He needs to hold on, get himself together so he can regroup. He just ate another right hand from Navarrete. That's not a tip of mid -grade. Clearly. Body shots from Dog Bay. He still has plenty of fight. He's just badly hurt. Wobbling back to the red corner. Visiting the children here locally, going room to room, eighth at Madison Square Garden, and seems even better now, stronger, bigger, more powerful, and clearly confident that he can do it again in more demanding fashion. And Tessie taking Except this round, if he starts to go to the body of Dog Bay, this fight will not last much longer. We've only seen the headshots. <laughs> He's trying, what he's trying to do is he's trying to get Navarrete out of position. The shot, and that's the right hook coming from a different angle. There it is again. He tried it right there. That's exactly what his dad was asking for. Dog Bay ate another long range right hand. Now he's off balance. And being chased down in a short, short right uppercut as Navarrete every so often will go back to the well to that uppercut. And now just off balance that time and rolling. And Tim, where, where's the game? Where's the plan B? No plan B. It's a plan A. Get in shape and go fight. If that doesn't work, then what? <laughs> These rounds are all looking the same, aren't they? And it's all about the champ. Navarrete in complete control. That's not his game. Cross guard. It's not his game. George Foreman style. Round number five here. The title rematch with Navarrete in complete control. The 23-year-old who pulled off the upset to get the belt. He said, listen, I'm not used to having a belt. I was leaving it everywhere in recent months. Left it at a bench at an airport. 50%, like I said in the beginning, you know, Navarrete has a style to give a short man problems. He has every punch in the toolbox. He was caught with that big shot there. Followed him out. With a nice, good combination, one-two combination. Remember, we sold offense tonight, and that's exactly what you have gotten so far, and you will get plenty of it in our world title main event with Vargas and Burchelt. And now closing the gap is Dolbeck. But can he work on the inside and sustain offense? Trying to place that right hand to the body. The kid's back. He allows Navarrete to get distance to land shots like that. And at 5 2, you can't do that. He, and see, he steps back after he lands a right hand, a vicious right hand on Navarrete. There's a left hook and then a right to the body. Maybe the best combination that Dog Bay's been able to put forth. Look where he's at. He's inside the pocket test. Again to the body with a fighting meeting, but he's got to have a healthy respect. Yeah. Some swelling around the right eye of Dog Bay as he just got quick to react this time. Settle down a little bit here in round number five. Fun stuff. Isaac Dog Bay is down in this fight, but one thing you can't take away from him is his effort. You see nothing but effort and grit and determination trying to. Did that sequence? He landed a clean right hand, and then what did Dog Bay do? He stepped back and gave distance. Dog Bay was hurt so badly that you can justify 10 8 rounds there. Perhaps the best work that could have possibly gone Dog Bay's way came and a bit of a bounce back in the last round, but Dre, you have it a sweep so far. Round number six here. I don't know if it's injury or fatigue, but going into the fifth round, you could see how tired Navarrete was, and he allowed Dog Bay to turn this fight around. He's not being directly in front of Navarrete, and it's, it's, it's working for him right now. That's how he sort of block the left uppercut. See, every time he sits out in front for a little bit too long, he's in, he's clipped with a combination, and I'm talking about Dog Bay. He's staying at the end of that long reach. Yeah, you got to get inside, all the way out, or all the way in. Mean sequence right there from that, but I take to the head and to the body, and with another left hook right there. On the separation. 
Because I don't think he's looking for that left uppercut. And now chases him down. Dolbe went straight back, and he just paid the price. That is a knockdown scored by Navarrete. Tremaine here in wow. round number six. He said fighters are trained to go right into danger. That is what he was trained to do, but he is hurting because of it. Navarrete, Dogbe fires back in one instance. But Navarrete still on the charge. You have a very exciting fight. And then he comes forward. He was damaged, and then he comes forward with two punches here to close out round six. Boy, oh boy, is this a fan-friendly fight. Check out this sequence here from Navarrete. Look at the left hook to the body. That's what started this whole sequence. You see Dog Bay trying to get away. More exaggerated version of the first fight in the rematch. That may be the case for Navarrete. But I'll tell you what, you have a very game former champ who time and power punches landed in the last round for Emmanuel Navarrete. And he's on the attack early on here in round seven. I respect what I'm seeing from Dog Babe because yeah. I know what he's doing is not easy. He could easily pack it in. He will, but I think he needs to take a hard look at this and, and make sure he's, he's protecting his son. Actually, I just spoke with Paul Dogbe and I asked him that question and stop. He should have saved his son, saved this fighter from taking that type of beating. And now, this, the second time around, he's taking a major beating in this thing like a fighter should respond. He's fighting. He's not giving up. He's mm -hmm. not quitting, like you mentioned earlier, yeah. Tim. But it's the trainer showing himself as more of an involved, matured fighter. The yeah. end of seven here. <laughs> On June 15th from Las Vegas on a big night of boxing on ESPN platforms. It is Tyson Fury. The knockout is there if he wants it. Um, Dog Bay's legs are very, very... Oh, what a big shot good. that Dog Bay somehow stood up to right time yeah, at the is. end of that combination. Dog Bay has made a steal. I don't know how he's standing up to these punches from now that day. It's going to take that one good shot to success and then got caught. What does he need to do here? You see, the thing is here, he's blocking and he's not following up. What I said to him, he should move his feet. He can't stand in front of him. The virtuality about him who believes in a prophecy that he is to be a champion, that it is God's will. He will walk through fire. In He'll take all the damage because of his belief. And he just took more. In the last round, the junior featherweight champion, Emmanuel Navarrete, landed 44% of his power punches. I believe that he is conditioned. And I'm talking about Isaac Dogbe. That's why he's able to take this type of punishment. I'm not sure if Navarrete is tired, former, over the ladder. But he's, everything is right for him to go in and try to get a spectacular knockout right now. Isaac Dogbe mm -hmm. is not sturdy on his legs. He still has not shown that he can make it look. Oh, he's got left uppercut right there. Dogbe swinging from the fence is just hoping to hit a jackpot in return. Yeah, but if you think there's going to be power on those shots, they're not. Look at his legs. They're not stable. There's no kind of balance from Isaac Dogbe. There's no way he's arm punching right now. And Navarrete, he knows that. He doesn't feel any, he doesn't feel any prey right hand. Oh. Final 20 seconds of round number oh. nine. Looks like the rugs hung on. Oh, what a big shot that was that he stood up to. And somehow he walks towards him again. Rain to go to danger time and again that's the case. Raining down with the right hand is Navarrete. Trying to slice him with a left. Holding on is Dog Bay. Will this fight continue at the end of this round? This is absolutely outrageous what we just heard and witnessed with the trainer Paul Dog Bay, the father of Isaac, who is taking out like a build like a tank. You know, he knows his mindset and he puts him out there in danger and he doesn't protect him. Listen, Isaac Dogbe is a warrior, period. Yes. Period. He's a warrior. I don't know how he stood up to some of I mean, Dogbe is such a warrior. He is so tough. But these are the kind of fights when you're absorbing punishment round after round after round. That right hand is about to come over the top at distance. Head snaps back. Stop! Remember, it has been the final 30 seconds seemingly in most of these rounds when Dogbe really gets damaged. And he's going to get himself free from round number 10. 
And let's listen in to that corner with his father this time. It does not appear no. that he does have a chance at this point. Do you believe that Isaac Dogbe still has a puncher's chance? Dogbe's father has to have some compassion for mm. his son. I'm not saying he doesn't love him, but he's got to have some compassion. He can't worry about the fallout if my son didn't go to the stretch of continuous damage rather than just the one shot. Now there's the left uppercut. This may give him enough time to work towards a finish here as he has 50 seconds here in round 11. Perhaps another headshot does it here. But why is Dogbe even in there taking headshots mm. to this point? Look at the heart. Unbelievable heart, oh, but not steady on his feet. Compromised defense every single time as he right. works to wrap right. up here. Tied up for the first oh, no, time, right. dude, Jay. Driving down and a left hand comes in at the end. A figure in the former champion's life, but as the father taking control, and you can see that right eye, both cut and swollen, 12th and final round. Dog they courageously it's incredible that Dog Bay keeps coming forward, isn't it? As he eats another short left hook, and now he's just holding on. And he has extension on his punches, like that, That's chopping right, right hand. Right he hurt right. his hand right there, too. He did. He damaged his hand. Navarrete trying to shake off his right hand after landing a hard punch and a knockdown. Beats him down again. And Navarrete is swinging his right hand as if he broke it. He is clinching it, writhing in pain there off to the side from this knockdown score. That's it. Towel is thrown in. You said he's trained to go to danger. Well, guess what? He ran to the roar and the lion ate him all night long. That was a brutal beatdown that Isaac Dogbay just took. Brutal. See the ending of this fight. Navarrete knew he had Dog Bay. He just unleashed right hands. Looked for that uppercut, missed it, and went over the top with the left. Down goes Dog Bay. He was weakened, he was beat up, and he was ready to go. See the right hand land right there. He looked for the upper, couldn't, yeah. couldn't find it, so he went with the left hook. But you see, he had success, Dre, when he was out at distance. He had success when he was out at distance, having the range and firing his. By way of technical knockout, still. The WBO Junior Featherweight Champion of the World, El Vaquero.